Good morning everyone, welcome to Morning Prayer. Do watch this space this week as we announce later this week the ways in which we will continue to worship God and care for one another during the coming lockdown, especially with Remembrance Sunday this weekend. Now that public worship will not be taking place in our church buildings for the next month or so. We begin with the opening words from Church of England's daily prayer service, including a time of silence for us to bring ourselves before God this morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We continue today with the big picture story of the Bible by reading again from the little Old Testament book of Ruth and the final chapter. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. When they came together, the Lord made her conceive, and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, who has not left you this day without next of kin, and may his name be renowned in Israel. He shall be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is more to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him in her bosom, and became his nurse. The women of the neighbourhood gave him a name, saying, A son has been born to Naomi. They named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse, the father of David. Now these are the descendants of Perez. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron of Ram. Ram of Abinadab. Abinadab of Nashon. Nashon of Salmon. Salmon of Boaz. Boaz of Obed. Obed of Jesse. And Jesse of David. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of Ruth. So we read yesterday of Naomi's grief. Her husband and two sons had died and she was returning to her own country, a destitute woman. But one of her daughters-in-law, Ruth, said that she would go with her, even though it meant leaving her own country and family. We spoke as well about how small and local this story appears compared with other more epic tales in the Old Testament. But in our reading today, we learn of God's big picture plans for Ruth and Naomi. Ruth married Boaz, a Jewish relative of Naomi's, so that the two women would no longer be destitute, but have a household and a family again. But not only that, Ruth bore a child called Obed. And Obed would go on to be the grandfather of David, whom God would call to become king of Israel. And as we know from our Christmas carols, it was in David's town and of David's line that our Saviour, 
Jesus Christ would be born. So Ruth, a destitute Gentile, through her choice to be faithful to her mother-in-law Naomi, will not only be adopted into God's people through Boaz, but would become a key part in the family line of God's Messiah, Jesus. Just goes to show how God can use what may seem to us like small, insignificant acts of kindness in his kingdom purposes. So as we pray this morning, I wonder what small acts of kindness God might be laying on our hearts to do as we approach this second lockdown. Our Queen, in her Christmas message last year, 2019, said this. Many of us try to follow in Jesus' footsteps. The path, of course, is not always smooth, and may at times this year have felt quite bumpy. But small steps can make a world of difference. So let's pray that God will lay on our hearts small steps of kindness and faithfulness for us to do. And let's pray that God himself will transform these things that we do to make a world of difference. Let's pray. O oh Lord our God, we thank you for this story of Ruth and Naomi. We thank you, Lord, that you saw them and that you used them, and that you see us and that you use us. Father, we pray that as we approach this second lockdown, you will lay on our hearts steps that we can take, acts of love and kindness that we can do. We pray, Father, that even though we feel these acts may be small and insignificant, we pray that they would be highly significant in your kingdom purpose, that people would come to know of your love through our acts of love and kindness. In your name we pray. Amen. join together to say the words of the Lord's Prayer today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God bless you all in this week. The Lord blesses and preserves us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining us. God bless.